Hello all, I'm Mac. And I'm Elaine. And we're Bible, Bible fanatics. fanatics. Huge, huge Bible fanatics. We love the Bible and we love all that God has told us through the Bible. We love it. Like a McDonald's commercial. We are loving it. In the next 12 weeks, you guys are going to learn every book in the Bible. But not us, because we already know all about the books. Not to brag, but we do. But don't worry, we'll get you guys up to speed. Soon you'll know it like we do. There are 66 books in the Bible. 39 in the Old Testament, and 27 in the New. And like us, you'll be able to go through the entire Bible in just three minutes. Let's do this. Genesis tells us that in the beginning God made the world. It also tells us that we mess things up, but in spite of that, God loves us and decided to stick with us. Exodus is the story of how Moses saved God's chosen people from slavery. In Leviticus, God tells the people how to live so they won't sin. In Numbers, Moses counts God's chosen people. And in Deuteronomy, God tells the people how to live without sin again because they just didn't get it. Joshua led the people into the promised land and knocked down the walls of Jericho. Then, here come the judges. Here come the judges. Order in the court now. Here come the judges. Ruth is the typical love story. Girl meets boy. Boy dies. Girl moves in with the boy's mom and marries his cousin. Oh, Samuel was such a great prophet. How great was he? He got two books to tell the story of Israel's first two kings. Speaking of kings, first and second kings tell the story of the rest of Israel's leaders. And first and second chronicles tells the story all over again. Ezra tells the story of how God forgave his people after the kings led them astray. Nehemiah rebuilt the wall that protected the city of Jerusalem. Esther saved her people when she went to see the king. Girl power! Job was a man who had a very, very bad day. Psalms is a big book of praise right in the middle of the Bible. Proverbs and Ecclesiastes are filled with wisdom. And Song of Solomon is all about love. Isaiah was a prophet who tried to tell the people they needed to obey God. Jeremiah was the weeping prophet who wrote his own book and the book of Lamentations to mourn for God's people. Ezekiel had some amazing visions. Visions from God that he shared with God's people while they were in exile. Daniel was a prophet too, and something of a daredevil. Wait until you hear about the night he spent in a lion's den. And then there are the minor prophets. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah. Boy, was that guy fishy. Woo. Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. They all warned the people to follow God. They all warned that God would punish them if they didn't stop sinning. And some of them, well, they talked about the Messiah who would one day come and save us all. Matthew is all about the Messiah. It's one man's way of saying, hey, have you met my friend Jesus? Mark also wrote a book about his friend Jesus. Luke, he was a doctor who said, hey, have you met my friend Jesus? John wrote, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was my friend Jesus. Have you met my friend Jesus? Acts tells us about how Jesus' followers started the early church. One of the early church leaders, a man named Paul, wrote a bunch of letters to those churches. One to the Romans, two to the Corinthians, and one each to the Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians. Paul wrote some personal letters, too. Two to the Thessalonians, two to his buddy Timothy, and one to Titus and Philemon. Paul wasn't the only one to write letters. There's one for the Hebrews. 
And one from Jesus' brother James. Two from Peter. Three, three from John. And one from Jude. And then there's Revelation, where God tells us where the story ends. But the story's not over yet! We're still in it! You're right. All the more reason to get to know the 66 books of the Bible. Maybe you won't be able to do them in three minutes like we did, but the more you know them, the better you'll know Jesus. <laughs>